A lot of whiz related to security this week. I'm Allie Diamond, and this is ThreatWire. A major JavaScript library had an insane vulnerability drop this past week. Next.js popular JavaScript framework had a 9.1 CVSS vulnerability tracked under CVE 2025-29927 exposed by researchers Inzo and Zhero. The vulnerability achieved authorization bypass and more simply by including certain headers in the request. In the reality, all it took to bypass this authorization was knowing how to use Burb Suite at a basic level. The vulnerability was discovered at the implementation level, finding at first that simply having the header X middleware sub request present with the right value would completely bypass all middleware checks, including auth checks. The researchers were able to create proof of concepts for achieving authorization bypass, CSP bypass, and DOS by cache poisoning. A search on census shows that over 400,000 instances are vulnerable to this authentication bypassing attack. An update has been created and essentially all versions of Next.js 11 and higher are affected. Vercel has chosen to point out that Next.js deployments on Vercel are actually already protected against this vulnerability. Acquired cloud security company Wiz for $32 billion, cash only. As a reminder, Google originally put in an offer to purchase Wiz in the summer of 2024 for $23 billion, and Wiz turned them down. Rumors are swirling around that Google plans to integrate Wiz into its cloud security offerings for the GCP product. Google has a history of snapping up snappy security companies. Google acquired cybersecurity response and intelligence company Mandiant for $5.4 billion in 2022. Mandian continues to operate as a separate entity under the Google slash Alphabet umbrella, but who knows what will happen to Wiz. The bet to buy Wiz in cash is a huge one for Google. It's estimated that Google Cloud only had an estimated revenue of $43 billion in 2024. That's almost 75% of its annual income into acquiring one company. What do you think of this acquisition? Do you think that it's a bet that's going to pay off long term for Google? Let me know in the comments. A 9.8 CVSS has been found for the Ingress Nginx controller for Kubernetes, except at the time of reporting, the patches were not available. The story started on the Hacker News, where a post came up listing that five new critical vulnerabilities were found for the Ingress Nginx controller for Kubernetes, except at the time of posting, patches were not available. Wiz, the company behind the findings, was linked in the report. However, the findings blog post was not made public at that time. For those unaware with major CVEs, companies put the findings under things called press embargoes to make sure that there's enough time to find a solution to the vulnerabilities, as well as prepare for the onslaught of issues that follow. In this case, it's believed that the press embargoes were accidentally broke before the patches were published. Luckily though, the patches are actively getting committed and releases are getting cut literally as I write this on March 24th, 2025. So let's jump into the actual vulnerabilities found. The cluster of five CVEs, which they dubbed hashtag Ingress Nightmare, are a series of unauthenticated remote code execution vulnerabilities in Ingress Nginx controllers for Kubernetes. They're tracked under CVE 2025-24513, CVE 2025-24514, CVE 2025-1097, CVE 2025-1098, and CVE 2025-1974. When the Ingress Nginx admission controller processes an incoming Ingress object, it constructs an Nginx configuration from it and then validates it using the Nginx binary. Our team found a vulnerability in this phase that allows injecting an arbitrary Nginx configuration remotely by sending a malicious Ingress object directly to the admission controller through the network. During the configuration validation phase, the injected Nginx configuration causes the Nginx validator to execute code, allowing remote code execution on the Ingress Nginx controller's pod. The team at Wiz believes that this series of CVEs affects an estimated 43% of cloud environments, having found over 6,500 environments vulnerable in their research. At the time of writing, the deeper technical blog post of the CVEs is expected to be made public tomorrow, March 25th. 
This story is still developing at time of writing, so look out for these updates ASAP. A major GitHub action was compromised. The team at Step Security was first to break the story. The GitHub action, TJ action slash changed files, tracks all changed files in a project. This action, at time of publishing the research, was found to be used in over 23,000 repositories. The compromised GitHub action will publish CICD secrets in build logs, directly to build logs. If these logs are public, they can be read by anyone. This supply chain attack existed for two days, March 14th and March 15th, and was eventually mitigated. Adversaries were able to compromise a personal access token to a bot account used by the project. How this happened though was unknown. Using the personal access token, they were able to make a malicious commit and then updated the action release tags to point to the malicious commit. The attack was base64 encoded into the function. Quick encoding showed that it echoed a pointed to gist containing code to find and publish worker secrets. If you use the TJ Actions Change Files GitHub Action, it is recommended to rotate your secrets ASAP. Thank you so much for watching ThreatWire for the week of March 24th, 2025. If you enjoyed this show, please head over to patreon.com slash threatwire. Thank you so much for your support. If you want to find me online, you can find me everywhere at Ending with Allie. And thank you so much for watching. And as per usual, good luck, have fun, and don't get caught.